back in the year 2006, there was a very interesting uh, project that took place. It began from the Smith magazine, and the publishers had heard about Ernest Hemingway telling a short story in just six words. And so the, the uh, publishers asked their subscribers to do that, send in a story with just six words. And thousands of people responded to that. Thousands. And Ernest Hemingway's story was this. For sale, baby shoes, never worn. For sale, baby shoes, never worn. So one of the subscribers wrote in and said, uh, it was a young lady, she said, I'm always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Another person wrote in, a man uh, married for 42 years, and his wife died, and his uh, short story was, I still make coffee for two. And a third young lady said, um, I can't keep my own secrets. So we have uh, short stories. But well, today, I was thinking about that in terms of the gospel, and I was looking for uh, some short stories in the gospel. I found two of them, but not uh, six words, but eight words. The first one is from Peter, and Peter says, uh, it is good for us to be here, to be in the presence of uh, Jesus, Moses, and Elijah. It's good to be at see here, to see the glory of God and Jesus, which kind of took away the scandal of the cross. You always remember that experience of the transfiguration. Here is Jesus in his glory, one who lived the gospel, who, who lived uh, what Moses said, who lived what the prophet had to say. So Jesus was the fullness of the law and the prophets. And then Peter added to that, he really enjoyed that experience. He said, uh, let's, both, let's have three tents, one for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. And I thought about that, that sometimes uh, we have an experience, we want to hang on to it, a good experience. Uh, after the honeymoon, there's a laundry, right? And so we can't hang on to that. It's kind of this rocking chair. And rocking chair is we're in a comfort zone. And we don't move out of that. But Lent calls us out of our comfort zone to pray more deeply, uh, to have asceticism and fasting, to be generous. So we leave our rocking chairs to live more fully the law and the prophets. So I want to thank Peter for that little uh, eight-word short story. It is good for us to be here. In my hometown, uh, our church was remodeled back in the 1950s. At that time, Mass was in Latin. And usually the, um, the decorations and re renovations included Latin, but our pastor did not. And above the arch of our sanctuary, big arch, it is good for us to be here. So every Sunday, we saw that. The other uh, short story in the Gospel today is um, God speaking to the disciples, listen to my beloved son. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. So the question is, what does, uh, what does Jesus say to us during Lent uh, this morning? Well, Jesus has a, a six-word uh, short story, and it goes like this. Be compassionate, be forgiving, be loving, period. That's it. That's our challenge. Be compassionate, feel deeply the pain and joys of others, be forgiving. Uh, in a few minutes, we'll be saying a very dangerous prayer. The Our Father is a dangerous prayer. We ask God to forgive us as we forgive others. So be forgiving of others and of ourselves. One of the most difficult things in life is forgive ourselves for past mistakes that we have made. And then be loving on the journey. Be concerned, be responsible, be respectful to others. I was thinking about that, and I was going to expand that. I don't like to expand on Jesus' uh, teaching, but I would add, be compassionate, be forgiving, be loving, be loved, be loved, that uh, God loves us. And once we accept that gift, we have a gift to give away. And so we want to do that. One last little story that I, I have to tell is, uh, I was at Oddfellows across the river uh, two years ago, when our prisoners was dying, Mary, and um, the six school and kids were there, and we were kind of chatting, and then Mary kind of went into a, not a coma, but she was uh, not really present to us, and so it kind of was quiet. I said to Dan, her husband, I said, Dan, what did you do in life? He said, I was a teacher down in Appleton. I taught Latin for 14 years at the Appleton High School. 
I said, Latin? I said, I'm amazed at that. Yes, I still remember some words. So what's your favorite Latin quotation of all times? And he uh, said, well, I remember the tombstone of uh, Carl Jung, a great psychologist. The tombstone were six words. Vocatus adque non vocatus Deus adoret. Called or not called, God is here. Called or not called, God is here within our lives. So I thought to myself, I was going to be outdone by that. So I said, I got, I got a Latin quotation too. And my Latin quotation is from Augustine. Quia amasti me domine, fecisti me amabilem. Because you have loved me, O Lord, you have made me lovable. Because you love me, O Lord, you have made me lovable. We are amabilem. We are lovable. At that point, Mary was very, she kind of woke up and said, stop showing off. <laughs> she died 20 minutes later. The last words her husband heard was, stop showing off to him and to me. So let us not uh, show off. Let us live the Lord's short story. Be loving, be compassionate, be forgiving. So let us stand now and uh, pray our, our creative.